my name is Sheila Giordano, and this is the Hummingbird Run. Uh, our mission is a safe driving initiative, and uh, this is our first event, and we're very excited. My daughter Elizabeth was on her cell phone one night. She was driving home. She was lost, and she was trying to figure out where she was, and the person she was on the phone with gave her the instructions, and then they hung up. Ten minutes, not even ten minutes later, she's dead. And we think, we're not 100% sure, but we think she dropped the cell phone, she unhooked her seatbelt, and went for the phone and lost control of the car. The fact that she died, hopefully we can grasp that and make it a positive situation. I mean, it's very painful for a parent to lose a child and every day it's, it's difficult and I know I'm not the only one out there. So one of the things I would like to do is partner with other parents, partner with other people who've been affected by distracted driving, drunk driving, drugs and drug use, um, not wearing a seatbelt. We'd like to put that all together. It's a one tight package. It all started with the hummingbirds that came to my door the next day. My whole yard was filled with hummingbirds. It was like a sign. That's how the hummingbird name came about. We've, we've every important time since then, there's been a hummingbird in some appearance showing up at our doorstep. It's been kind of inspirational. It's been a long process getting this done. We, it took us two years to get our 501C. So once we got that, then we knew we had to do something. And we wanted to incorporate the local artists, the local musicians, because my family is very artistic and very musical. And we love that part of the community. And um, that brings a whole group of people, a very eclectic group of people around. Going around and talking to people about safe driving, everybody seems to be affected by it in one way, shape, or form whether they know somebody who got in a car accident, or they know somebody that was walking down the street and almost got hit, or somebody's building who got hit. There's all kinds of accidents happening on a daily basis, and it's all due to distracted driving. So you want to try to stop that and maybe change people's opinion and perspective about it, and see if we can kind of put the cell phones away when we're doing other things like talking to our kids or going out to dinner. Everybody's on their phone, swiping away, texting. It's got to stop. Talking about it is important. It should be a discussion in every household. And you see somebody texting or you see somebody with their cell phone in their hand and driving, you got to ask them to put it away. You have to be proactive. I'd like people to be aware of what they're doing. And it's funny, I've made an impression on many people already, because they say to me, oh, all I can hear is Sheila telling me, don't pick up that phone when I'm in the car. So there has been an impact. We all can make an impact on that. The more people that get involved with us, the more we can do to help others. We want to make it a family event every year. So this is the first one, and it's been a really successful event. We're really thrilled with all our sponsors and the overall enthusiasm of the community. It's been really exciting. Everyone had fun, everyone's talking about it, and everyone knows why we're here. And that's the most important thing.